In a heartwarming display of compassion and unwavering support, the Nigeria Customs Service has reached out to families of the tragic stampede victims that occurred during the sale of 25 kg bags of rice in Lagos on February 23, 2024. The Comptroller General of Customs, Bashu Adeni, sent a delegation led by the Zonal Coordinator Zone A, ACG Hami Swoman, to visit the families affected by the unfortunate incident. Their first point of call was the late Susan Odulaja family, followed by the late Comfort Ajayi family. In line with the CGC's directive, it is an ongoing interaction and support for the families. So even after today, we will continue to keep in touch with them. We have been in touch with them. And we will continue to see the best ways going forward that we can support them in these difficult times. It, it just tells you that the service is responsive, is not uncaring. We are caring. We are a responsible Nigerian government agency. And even though those events happened outside our premises, but we are still touched by those events and we will continue to see the best way going forward to support these families. Responding, the families appreciated the delegation for their visit. They've been trying their efforts to get in touch with us, to check on us. I said big thank you. Though it has not been easy, life still goes on. I will thank God and I thank uh, the custom service for their support. In the same vein, the team also reached out to the families of the late Eugene Anyao and late Mercy Christopher, who were also victims of the unfortunate incident. Sarah Anyao, wife to the late Eugene Anyao, commended the gesture by the Nigeria Custom Service. I really appreciate the Nigeria Custom for even in inviting us, consoling us, reaching out to us. And what they have told us so far, I quite appreciate. My prayer is that what I experience, because they are in the forefront, that the good Lord will wave it away from them, both in their family. Mindful of the effects of the sad occurrence, the Nigeria Customs Service has pledged its commitment to work with families and support them continuously. Lucy Nyambi, NCBN News, Lagos.